Thanks so much for joining us today with Facebook making this big push to assuage advertisers' concerns. I know they're having meetings today. What right. is your advice to Mark Zuckerberg? I think this is far larger than just, you know, do you label a president's tweet or kick one or two people off? <clears throat> Facebook was invented to connect us, to make the world a better place. And I'm convinced that that's what Zuckerberg and others had in mind in the beginning. But they've allowed it as they get driven by their business model, which incents enragement and engagement and anger and amplifies the anger in our society. They've allowed Facebook to become an absolute cesspool of bots and trolls and people sharing things that are patently false. And so I think they ought to try to <clears throat> clean up the entire swamp of Facebook, not just say, oh, we're going to find new ways to label some politicians posting. Now, Zuckerberg has talked about how he's really focused on maintaining free speech. Uh, we just had a, a Facebook VP in Europe say when there's hate in their world, there will be hate on Facebook, sort of indicating that Facebook is just reflecting the world around us. How do you balance this idea of maintaining free speech with preventing racism and harassment on the platform um, and without sort of having to go down a slippery slope of censorship, which is what Zuckerberg has warned against? Yeah, and that's a very good question. <clears throat> but it's not just about reflecting the racism in our society or reflecting some hatreds or resentments or angers. It's about amplifying it. It's about sending you down a rabbit hole where if you're in a particular group, you get to another group, and soon you're circulating things that are not legitimate, thoughtful people saying, I'm angry about this or I feel this. It's about trolls and bots and people who are weaponizing the resentment in our society. We've always had people in our society on all parts of the political spectrum that have been somewhat resentful. But we haven't had a tool like Facebook, or for that matter, any of the social media companies, that not only amplifies it, but their business model depends on amplifying the rage, on weaponizing it, on making everything so that we're mutating, as Kara Swisher said, you're a great contributor, we're mutating human communication so that it's about taking all of these uh, demons sometimes from real people, but a lot of times just from people who are purposely uh, weaponizing it on the pl platform. That's the thing that makes Facebook a cesspool, not a mirror on our society. Our society is not nearly as bad as a society you find on Facebook, or for that matter, certain regions of Twitter. Hmm. What happens in those places is the worst in us gets amplified. But they're very Walter smart people. I mean, they're very, very smart people at Facebook. They could figure out a way to take it so they're not <clears throat> amplifying these bad sentiments. I'm sorry, John. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. You're making a good point. Uh, I, I wonder, though, is it possible for Facebook to do what you're suggesting and, and stop amplifying the cesspool without making a moral judgment on uh, w what's garbage and what's not? Do they just have to stop amplifying everything, which would certainly have broad implications for their business model? Or can they somehow, mathematically, because that's how they like to do things, identify uh, what our society, um, at least the majority of people, might label as a dangerous, uh, dangerous material? Well, there are certainly regions that it would be easier to do such as things where it's anonymous and fake accounts and bots and trolls that are just doing this, <clears throat> not because they're expressing legitimate opinions of individuals. They could be a little bit more careful, too. Uh, they used to make it pretty uh, clear that you had to be a real person, had to have a cell phone number. They could text you back and forth. It's important to keep some anonymity or pseudonymity on Facebook, but you don't have to make it so totally anonymous that Facebook can't even find you necessarily if you're creating false accounts. Hmm. Uh, but as you say, these are really smart people at Facebook. If they wanted to try to find ways to say, we're not going to amplify the hatred and the vile, they'd be able to do so. Uh, they do it very cleverly when it comes to helping with advertising. And as you know, uh, John, uh, it's um, 
they're they're caught in between. They're not exactly just a pure platform like a bulletin board in yeah. some abandoned building. And they're not just a publisher. They're in between. Do so they, they have to take some responsibility? 